Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to either add or remove the www dot prefix to your domain name within your WordPress site. So the reason you might want to do this is maybe you prefer to have not the www in the front because it's better for your branding. A lot of traditional websites do have the www. I'm seeing more and more people removing it. One thing you do want to make sure of is that you don't have both one thing you want to make sure of is that you don't have both the www dot prefix and without the www dot, you don't want to have them both able to resolve in a browser. So what I mean is there are some websites that you go to where if you go to www.website.com or just website.com, they will both appear that way in the browser URL. And essentially what's happening is that website has duplicate content which is bad for SEO because Google goes to the www dot version and it sees the exact same content as on the non www dot version. That's really hard to say. So I'm going to try not to say too much anymore, but the point is you want to make it so your website redirects to one or the other and that both aren't present. Let's make that happen inside of WordPress. Here we are in the dashboard. All you have to do, it's actually really easy is go to settings and then click on general. And then in the third box, we have our WordPress address URL and the site address URL. They are usually the same. So I've, I've rarely seen a case where they're different, but whatever you put in here is how your URL will resolve in a browser. So for example, if I go and visit the site right now and look at the URL bar, you'll notice there is no www dot in front. And then when we change this to www, still saying it, we change it to that and we save it. It will be signed out of WordPress, so it will be automatically signed back in again because of the LastPass app that I have. But once we're back in, you notice it added the prefix here. We go and refresh the page and it add the prefix here as well. And that's how easy it is to change that prefix inside of WordPress. Now, if you want to do this outside of WordPress, say you have a different type of website software or just an HTML site, you'll likely have to use HD access and you can Google Apache commands to redirect to the prefix or non-prefix via HD access. And there's a lot of them out there and they work really well, but WordPress just makes that really easy to either choose the prefix or no prefix. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped. Share on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out WPLearningLab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.